We've reached the halfway point in the seeding schedule, with the playoff picture becoming more clear as the days go by. The Lakers, after already securing the top seed in the West, can now use the rest of their schedule to fine-tune lineups, and hopefully solve their shooting woes. The Pacers are in a tie with the 76ers for the fifth spot in the East, and a win here will help them create space to avoid dropping down to no. 6 in the standings. The Lakers might be shorthanded with some players out, giving Indiana a better shot at picking up a W. Here's everything you need to know about Wednesday's Lakers-Pacers matchup. So who wins Lakers vs. Pacers? And which side of the spread hits over 50% of the time? Visit Sportsline now to see which side of the Pacers vs. Lakers spread to jump on, all from the advanced model that is up over $4, 200 on its NBA picks this season, and find out. Lakers, LA has lost its last two games, a pair of back-to-backs. The Lakers experienced a cold shooting night in a loss to the Thunder, and felt the residual effects of playing the next day against the Rockets. LeBron James sat out against Houston due to a sore right groin, and along with Alex Caruso left neck muscle spasms, the two are questionable for this matchup. The Lakers will already be without 3 and D specialist Danny Green, who is nursing a sore right hip, meaning we could see some more minutes from Dion Waiters and Junior Smith in this game. The most important thing for L is to get 100% healthy for the postseason, and to address its shooting problems, which have caused the team to shoot an abysmal 23.4% from beyond the arc, last among all teams in the bubble. Pacers, Indiana is coming off a tough loss to the suddenly streaking Phoenix Suns. TJ Warren put up just 16 points in that game after scoring 30-plus points in each of the Pacers' previous three games in the bubble. Warren is listed as questionable for the game, which would potentially leave the scoring up to Victor Oladipo, who hasn't looked his typical self, and Malcolm Brogdon, who is averaging 19 points in Orlando. Depending on who suits up for the Lakers, and if Warren plays or not, will determine if Indiana will have a shot at winning this game. If LeBron doesn't play, that would give the Pacers a legitimate shot at pulling out a win, and the extra motivation of trying to hold on to the no. 5 spot in the East could also play a factor. However, without Warren it will be considerably difficult as Indiana struggled to get anything going in its last game when Warren was being locked up defensively. This one's a toss-up depending on who suits up, but I'll give the edge to the Lakers because Anthony Davis will still be playing, so the Lakers should be in good hands regardless of if LeBron suits up or not. Pick, Lakers minus 6.